Hi everybody, it's Ia Patsy here with the reading for Sagittarius. This is a love bite that's going to go from the middle of September to the middle of October 2017. So I already did my prayers and I cut the cards, I laid them out. And um, what this is going to be, it's going to be five uh, cards from the Romance Angel Oracle deck for you. That's going to be the top row and this lower row is going to be for your interest or the theme about your love life that's concerning you at this moment. So, as I was doing the spread, as usual, uh, I got two extra cards for Sagittarius just because you're so special. And uh, the cards were New Love, A New Person Has Stirred Romantic Feelings in You, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I'm sorry, I didn't read that exactly right. And the second card was soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, maybe that's the overall energy for this reading. Or maybe that was just answering a question for someone else who may not be um, addressed in this reading. But we'll see as we go along, okay? So, I'm going to try to make this short, but... I will say this, um, I did all the other readings yesterday, I did Scorpio a day before, but everybody else was yesterday, and as I sat down to do Sagittarius, which is going to be my last one today, I got so sick, I got so sick, it was pain, and I had to stop, I had to stop, so um, I went ahead and rested, went to sleep, so I put on the same outfit, basically just so that it's more for my benefit than for anything else just so I when I'm looking at the videos I know which is what group which one is in this is just me but anyway um, but this is new day and um, even though I had already um, shuffled and placed the cards for Sagittarius when I came down this morning Egon told me to just reshuffle and lay it out again so that's what happened in the original shuffle, I didn't get two extra cards. So that might have been a message that was meant for someone. The new love is your soulmate. All right? I'm also being told to say that a new love doesn't mean that this is a person that you don't know from your social situation. It could very well be someone that you just meet. But it could be just someone that you just decided finally, you know, they sparked your interest. It's a new person. Um, you know, not your usual, not one of your exes. Well, it could be one of your exes, but it's somebody that hasn't been around for a while if they are an ex. But I just wanted to say it didn't have to be a brand new person, like totally stranger on the street. So um, just keep that in mind. Okay, so first card on the top is for, is about you, Sagittarius. So let's see what the cards say. All right, first card says, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. All right. So, this card is telling you that whatever it is that you want in your new love interest, whatever it is that you want, you need to start really deciding exactly what it is you want. I mean, if you have to write it down like a shopping list, do that. Because uh, if you don't do that, the person might come, but they may have qualities that you can't really tolerate or something extra that you didn't ask for. So do yourself a favor. The universe is trying to send somebody to you, a new love. So start thinking about what exactly it is that you want in a new partner. All right. And at the same time, think about what it is that you have to offer a new partner to. And your shortcomings and anything about you that you know isn't correct, try to clean up on it, pick up on it. Okay? All right. Second card you got was chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. But it was in the reverse. Again, this could be someone that you weren't normally attracted to. This could be somebody that you know so maybe it's not so much passionate and sexual. Maybe it's another kind of a of, a, of an attraction. Let's see what else. Ooh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so this is somebody coming back from your past, or maybe 
in your past life, but it's reversed. So I'm thinking it is more of an ex-flame, an ex-boyfriend, a girlfriend, rather than a past life. But it's someone that you've known from your past a while ago. All right? So it may not be about chemistry. It just could be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a passionate sexual thing at the beginning. Okay, the next card that we got here in this reading was, oh, another one upside down. Keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this was reversed. Well, hmm. Keep an open mind. Maybe this was someone that you were going out with and you fell out with them. You've got some anger with them. That's why the chemistry is off. And keep an open mind is reversed because you don't need to keep an open mind about this dude. This person. Sorry, guys. So maybe that's what's saying. This person that was in your past, someone that you broke up with so you didn't end up on a good note with, is trying to come back and is telling you not to be open to this person. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's interesting. All right. Hmm. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and receive and give the highest energy of all. All right, let's see what the book says about that because that's kind of in conflict with what I'm getting. Um, and I want to give you... Okay, this card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. How the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed love repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life and they'll do so, provided that you listen and follow their guidance. Okay, so I think what it's telling you is that all is not lost. Do not allow this situation or how you feel about this person cut you off from future love. Okay, because there is a new love, a soulmate coming, but at the same time it could be this person from the past coming in that you really shouldn't involve yourself with. But while you're protecting yourself from this energy, don't close yourself off from the future love that's coming. Okay, let's see. Now this lower row is the, the situation or the person that you're interested in. Okay, so let's see what the Angel Oracle Romance deck has to say about that. All right, Ooh. this card is children. Your life, your love life is being affected by children. Okay, good. But it was in the up, it was in the um, reverse position. So, again, maybe you have children or the person that's coming has children. It could also mean childish behavior since it's in reverse. So this could be childish behavior. This next card says, make the effort. A great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. So I think that this person, whoever they are, are, are has intentions of making an effort to talk to you again.
they they have been engaging in some childish behavior. They could be very self-centered like children can be, but they feel that they need to make the effort to try to talk to you again. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, visualization, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay? But again, this was in the reversed. All right, so I think this is what it's telling you is that this is not the person. But you do need to pray for protection. You, you need to pray for protection because this person is going to make an effort to come back to you. Spirit's telling me that this person is not being sincere. Next card say, forgive and learning. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in present moments. Okay. So you're going to... I think what this is saying is that you're going to have to forgive this person, but you need to learn from the experience that you two went through, that you went through. You may want to entertain a conversation with this person only to get your healing and maybe to give forgiveness because again that is what's going to make you have an open heart. Maybe the, whatever hmm, negativity you have um, pent up with this person that maybe you haven't had a chance to express it to them maybe they don't even know how much they hurt you but it's only in your best interest for you to forgive and this is not for them this is for you so that you can learn and grow and be available and open for the new love that's coming and the next card that we got was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. But it was upside down. So, this to me is saying this person is not worth, worth waiting for. That's what it's telling me. This person is not worth waiting for. That's what I'm getting here. This person is a waste of your time. Okay, so the next five, the next cards are going to be from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck by Kim Dwyer. And we know the first cards were the Romance Angel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, so let's see what the Conscious Spirit has to say about this situation with this person. And that could be why those two cards came out to the side extra to tell you that this, that your new love is coming and that person is your soulmate, but you need to be on guard about this situation. That's, that may not be for everybody, but that's for some of you. And that's the message that I needed to give you today. Okay, so let's see, Conscious Spirit, could you give me more clarification um, about the situation for Sagittarius? This is about their love life from mid-September to mid-October 2017. Thank you so much, Conscious Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirits. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is Sun Goddess. All right. It says, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this looks like she's on her way to the future. She is um, basking in the sun. She's standing on the pier looking out. The ocean is there. She has a crown on. She's attracting the sun and she's enjoying it. She enjoy, she's enjoying the freedom. That's what I'm hearing here. She's enjoying the freedom. And up here in the corner, I don't know if you can see right here, there's like a spirit. 
Okay, so that that's the divinity. That's her spirit guides. This is a time for you to heal, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. Is that your your spirit, your 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 ancestors, your Aegon, the divine, want you to heal. And that's why you're getting this message today. Okay? That's why this came up today. It was a new day. And they wanted you to get this message. You need to spend some time outside also. Enjoy this the sun. But I think it's telling you to enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your freedom. And enjoy your beauty. Express your beauty. You are light. You are sun. You are bright. Okay. Reach for your dreams. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I am the creator of my own dreams and can achieve them with confidence. Okay, Sagittarius. Reach for your dreams. Whatever your dream is, whoever your dream person is, as I told you before, very soon, they're coming. So you need to get it together, figure out what you want. But you have the power to make your dreams come true. You have the confidence. You, you have confidence to reach for your dreams and accomplish what you want. You don't have to take anything and you don't have to accept anything. Wow, I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Okay. All right. So let's see, Sagittarius. Now, everybody else that I did this reading for, the Conscious Spirit cards, I gave them two. Or they got two. But since you all are always so good, let me see if there's any more that Egun wants to tell you any more that the Conscious Spirit Oracle wants to relate to you in terms of this situation. A nurturing heart, mother. I am a protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I think what is this is saying is when this person makes their way back, this person that is a negative, in, uh, that has negative intentions, you can send them on their way without being uh, combative. Okay, try to understand, not to forgive them, but again, this is part of the learning to forgive, but. Not to forget what they've done. Sorry, I meant to say forget. Not, f you know what I'm saying. You don't want to forget what happened, but you want to forgive them. And part of that is looking at the situation objectively, trying to take a step back if you can, which is very difficult, I know. But trying to take a step back and look at this person with compassion. How sad are they that they hurt you? of all the people in the universe to mess with, to do something bad to. You, Sagittarius, you didn't do anything bad to anybody. You didn't um, create this for yourself. You didn't call, cause this energy. There was nothing that you did, really, to cause this person to react or treat you in this manner. So, something must be going on inside of them, huh? There must be something that is lacking in them for them to have done this. So I think what this card is telling you to is to have some compassion for this person. And you already are that. You already are spiritual. You already are special. You already have the capacity to be compassionate. I don't think this person is your enemy per se but there needs to be a distance put. You may have to still communicate with them for whatever reason, because you have kids together or you know, property or something like that, whatever. But don't, don't go, don't, don't look for a relationship 
you know, don't accept them back into your life as a romantic partner is what I'm hearing. And be very careful about how much nurturing you do. But for your sake, I feel that you need to step out of the situation, look at this, and, and feel sorry for them. Feel compassion for them that they're so confused that they could do all that they've done and then still have to come back to you. And the only thing that they need to come to you with is an apology at this point. That's what my ego just said to me. But like I said, there could be conversations um, that could be had that will give you some clarity onto what it is that happened, why they did what they did. Okay, so now we're going to get a message from the um, Iyana Van Zandt until today cards and see if there's any further information, any further affirmations, information, clarity that we can get, any anything that um, we can get to help Sagittarius for the month between September, mid-month, September 2017, and mid-October 2017. Mid-October 2017. September, mid-September to mid-October 2017. Okay, thank you. Hey, Goon, can you give us some affirmation, some insight? Okay. I accept and acknowledge the truth. Okay. So again, I think this is about letting that person, having that conversation, getting to the heart of the matter, accepting and acknowledging the truth. <sighs> Until today, you may be engaged in a self-destructive behavior to avoid acknowledging the truth. You are a chosen one. Just for the day, activate the truth in your consciousness. Accept the fact that you are important. So this person is going to come back to you and it's going to be uh, apologizing or explaining or anything. He can't do, he or she can't do anything but explain and apologize. But when you have this conversation and you know the truth, then you'll understand that it was nothing that you did. Okay? It was nothing about you. This is about them. Okay? And that you are so important to them that they had to try to come back. Because they know that you're magic just like everybody else does. All right, but you can accept it and you can acknowledge it. Very, thank you very much for sharing. And then tell them to hit the road, Jack. Right? So, that was the love bite that was meant for you to have today, Sagittarius. There is a new love coming, and they are your soulmate, but it's not this guy or this girl. So, keep that in mind as you go into September and October 2017 all right so I'm glad to be able to have this opportunity to share this uh, information with you um, what the spirit needed for you to know and what they have for me to tell you okay so enjoy the rest of September and I'll see you in October for your regular readings and maybe some more love bites okay thanks so much Sagittarius and you enjoy the rest of your day and as usual, Lafia, amen, ashe, peace.